Hey guys, today I'm uh, going to be working on some comparison between the, uh, well, I've got this 212 Hemi piston out too here, but uh, I just mainly wanted to rob the wrist pin out of it and get a comparison. I think it's going to be the same thing as the uh, 224 uh, Predator, but I'm going to throw her on the scale here and make sure. And this scale, this is not an accurate, uh, this only re reads in one gram increments. So, you know, you'd, you'd really want, if you were doing an engine balance job or something, you'd want something that that reads in the, the tenth of a gram scale. But today I just want to get a rough estimate. So uh, I kind of borrowed Mrs. Kentucky Fried Fix's kitchen scale while she wasn't looking. Don't you guys tell nobody. And uh, see, we're coming around around 44, 45 grams. That's the problem with these kind of scales. You know, they if you get something that's like 44.5 grams, it'll flash between 44 and 45. So, you know, uh, you're going to be balancing or uh, removing weight from parts. You know, go ahead and get you one that reads in the tenth of a gram scale. And yeah, these, uh, I figured they would be. These are, these are pretty much the same uh, wrist pins. They're the same diameter and everything. And uh, the pistons are the same. They look to be identical pistons. Uh, the only difference between the uh, the 224 Predator and the 212 Dakar engine is the uh, the Dakar has got that mirror. It's got that big valve relief cut in it. But uh, the main thing I wanted to compare those was the difference between this 224 Predator piston on the right and the uh, Wildcat flat top piston that I've been using on some of these builds. And this is the piston, the Wildcat piston with the uh, EC billet rod I've been using in some of these. And that, that billet rod is like three inches, 353 thousandths long. So it's 50 thousandths longer than stock. That puts the piston up the hole further. And that, wow. Now that, that's 40 grams. That's a 709 or 708 thousandths, 709 thousandths wrist pin. 40 grams. The 224, well, now it's popped over to 44. So, you know, we're around four or five grams, probably a little over four grams lighter with the uh, Wildcat. So, hmm. All right. Stock Predator 224 piston, 161 grams. Now this is the stock Wildcat piston that we've been using in some of these builds. 135 grams. 135 grams. Now I'll I'll put all this the math down in the uh, description, guys. You know if you don't you don't have to write all this stuff down. But uh, so far, yeah, the Wildcat piston is is looking a lot better. The uh, over the 224 Predator piston and. Uh, it, it's got a, a let's see yeah the wildcat pistons also it's got shorter skirts and it's actually made to run with a stroker engine and a lot different design you know you can see uh, on the the wildcat it's mainly got the skirts up front and in the back like the uh, like most motorcycles or most of the high performance motorcycles and uh, a lot of the high performance uh, automotive type pistons as well and uh, the 224 Predator, you know, it's piston. It's got, uh, it's it's pretty much all, it's a rounded piston. It's got uh, uh, an area on the sides above and below the wrist pin that still hangs on to the cylinder wall. That creates some extra friction. You know, probably not a whole lot, but, you know, enough. That skirt difference is, is pretty major, too. That Wildcat's got a whole lot shorter skirt. And uh, I'll tell you what, it, it was still really, I, did, I didn't have to trim the skirt on this Wildcat at all uh, when I was using that uh, three inch, 353 thousandths billet EC rod because that rod put that piston up the cylinder further and uh, that put it further away from the crank counterweights. Now, if you use the ARC billet rod, the stock length with like a stock uh, compression height flat top, uh, you found out firsthand about lifting the skirt to clear counterweights. 
Now this is a different uh, piston. This is a this is a motorcycle piston. It's kind of rounded like that uh, Predator 224 piston. And uh, yeah, there's a couple of valve reliefs. This is completely different engine, guys. This is for like a uh, a Yamaha. Uh, this is a different different project I'm working on. And just out of curiosity, it's 176 grams. That's a little heavier than what I wanted, but uh, you know, motorcycle pistons they do. Unless you get like a really like a good Wasco or J and E or something, they they they, they do come in a little heavy. Now this is the wrist pin for it. It's a smaller diameter, okay. Smaller diameter and a lot thicker. Pretty close to the same length. But usually when you go on a small with a smaller diameter pin, you save weight. Depending on the thickness, I'll see. You uh, that that thing's a whole lot thicker, so that that adds some weight back on. So well, now I'm showing 41 grams here. My scale probably needs tired, but that's okay. It's, we'll get it close enough. Here. And that smaller motorcycle wrist pin is 44. So it actually comes in around about the same as the stock Predator pin. Huh. Well, that's interesting. This thing does have some good features. I mean, I, I like these, uh, these cuts made onto the... Uh, the front and back of the skirt. I mean, that's for oil retention and stuff. And that that's good. That reduces friction, plus holds a little oil against there. A lot of similarities. Out of the pistons that's laying on the table, I'd say the Wildcat flat top is my favorite design. Well, that's all I got for today, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you next time.